Welcome to She Coaches Coaches. I'm your host, Candy Motzak, and I'm going to help you find the clarity, confidence, and courage to become the coach that you are meant to be. If you're a new coach, or if you've always wanted to be a life coach, then this is the place for you. We're going to talk all about mindset and strategies and how to, because step by step only works when you have the clarity, courage, and confidence to take action. Let's get started. Hello there, and welcome to this episode. I'm so glad you're here. What's going on in your world these days? How are you doing with those new year goals? Now, listen, I know it was a while ago that you set those goals if you did it right at the start of the year. Are you still making progress or have they fallen by the wayside? If you have forgotten your goal for the year, it might have been a month ago, six months ago, six weeks ago that you set it. You might have forgotten and you might have just run into some hurdles and you kind of got stuck. But don't worry, you can pick it up again. You can choose to start again exactly where you are right now. It doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter why you let it go. All of that is in the past. What really matters is what you do now. If you're hearing my voice, use this as a reminder to go back and look at the goal you set for this year and start again. You may have just needed a little extra piece of encouragement, and I really want that to be for you. So this is part of the journey. Let me encourage you. I know you've got this. Keep going. So today I want to share with you something I learned in a mastermind that I'm part of. One of my coaches taught this, and I'd like to share it with you too, because I found it really helpful. Yes, I'm a coach and I always have my own coaches too, for a variety of reasons, really. They help me. They support me. They help me grow. They help me reach my goals. They encourage me and they help me to get a new perspective and just not give up on myself. One of the things that I talked about in episode 46 was called the motivational triad. And it's that our brains love to conserve energy. And this relates to something called automaticity. So that's automaticity. And I found this explanation in a Harvard University study on the same topic. Here's what it is. It's automatic thoughts and behaviors are ones that occur efficiently without the need for conscious guidance or monitoring. Most of our thoughts and most of our behaviors tend to be automatic, or at least there's components of it for automatic, right? Or for a good reason. These processes are fast. They allow us to do things like drive to work without even having to think about all the details. There are two main categories of automaticity, and they are defined by how the thought or the behavior is initiated. Some automatic processes are triggered quite unconsciously, often by the stimuli in the environment, whereas others require a conscious act of will to get started. All right. So why am I talking about this? Well, here's why. Anytime you want to create a new habit, a new practice even, if you leverage what is known about automaticity, you're going to have an easier time. Take, for example, if you decide that you want to build the ongoing habit of doing an IG live to build your coaching business. Does this sound like a theme? Last episode, we spoke about fear busting this way was one place. I'm going to assume we're taking that same example forward into this episode. I'm going to assume that you decided, yeah, you want to show up live on video. So this is a tool that you can use to make it easier. And we do this by applying the ABCs of automaticity. We know our brain wants to be efficient. It wants to, wherever possible, create a habit and that's what the ABCs support. A stands for anchor. B is behavior. And C is celebrate. So we're going to talk about each of these in turn, using the example of integrating a new habit of going live on IG 
to attract paying clients. The first thing we notice is that you want to make the action itself so small and easy. That way, you reduce the complexity, and with that, reduce your resistance to doing it. Remember from a few episodes where I spoke about four different aspects of fear. I think it was episode 78. I talked about one of the ways of minimizing your resistance to doing something uncomfortable is to take small steps. Even break your actions into micro steps. These are the things that you can do quickly and easily. It helps you to build your confidence because you're actually making tangible progress. So let's talk about the specifics of the ABCs. Now, the first thing is A is for anchor. And an anchor is a prompt. It's a prompt for the new action. So find something you do on a regular daily basis. For example, maybe you drive your kids to school, or maybe you make dinner, or you take your morning walk. Use an activity that's part of your everyday life, something that is so automatic you would never question it, and then tie the new behavior to the anchor. So if you choose the anchor of your morning walk, decide that you will do your IG live at the start or during your walk. When you link the two behaviors, the new behavior with the anchor behavior, it is so much easier to create a new automatic daily habit. B stands for behavior. So here's where that micro step really comes in handy. Don't start with the expectation that you're going to easily chit chat on live video for half an hour. Make it easy for yourself. Reduce your stress and nervousness. Decide on a maximum of five minutes. You could even go live for two minutes. That is just fine. In two minutes, you've got a lot of time to go live, introduce yourself, share about a topic or teach something specific, and then invite them to reach out to you. There is no possibility that you could say, I don't have the time for a two minute video. You've got two minutes, right? And that might be all you need to change somebody's day. To help your prospective client with one new thought, one small shift in perspective, and they'll sit up and take notice. And finally, C, C for celebrate. You did it. You took action. I know it takes courage to start something new, and I am proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself too. The rush you get when you leave your comfort zone is going to give you a dopamine hit. Dopamine is one of those hormones associated with reward and motivation. It feels good. Adding celebration will increase how good you feel. It's okay to give yourself a pat on the back and say, good job. So, you will feel good because you did it. And then you'll feel even better because you congratulated yourself. Intentionally cultivating the feelings of accomplishment, empowerment, and pride are going to help you keep going. So the ABCs is a simple and useful approach you can begin using today to create a new habit that will help you on your way to becoming a fully booked, thriving, and successful coach. If you've always been curious about what it takes to become a successful coach, I've got a gift for you. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Becoming a Professional Coach. I've put a link in the episode notes, and I'd encourage you to go and download it. And if you want even more help, maybe you've just had enough of trying to figure all of this out on your own, then we should talk. We should talk about how we could work together. Click the link in the episode notes to find out how to apply to work with me. I'm looking forward to hearing from you, and I'll be back to speaking with you again next week. Thanks again for listening today. Please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, I would love to hear from you. Did something that I say resonate? What else would you like to learn about? Click the link in the player and leave a comment on the post. This is going to give me great ideas for future episodes so I can help you best. Join me again next week for more coaching, support, and teaching to help you become the confident coach you are meant to be.